Hello, everybody. In this video tutorial, we're going to cover PST Mobile. It is the latest and greatest mobile app for Process Server's Toolbox. Uh, so here we go. Uh, in, when you first get into PST Mobile, you're not going to have an account. So I'm just going to show you real quickly how to set up an account. You click on that menu in the top left corner, and you have your menu options. The very first one says set up account. So if you tap on that, it'll bring you to your accounts area. Uh, you're not going to have anything in here, uh, but you'll click on that plus in the top right corner to now add your account. I'm just going to tap on the one that already exists. All right, so I've got my DBS code, M91, the username and password that, I, that is assigned to my server record. Scrolling down a little bit more, we have photo overlay settings. Uh, this is the information that's going to get stamped onto a picture that you take from the mobile app. The tag is just a, uh, any field, it's just an empty field that you can type whatever you want. You know, your, your name, your company name, or you leave it off. Uh, the GPS location, date, time location, and address location. Uh, th those are usually uh, more sought after, GPS location, especially in the date, time. And you can just choose wherever you want to apply that on the photo. Going down a little bit more, you have data warning settings. Uh, if you use the action expire date and last date of serve and subserve, these could be very beneficial. Um, so you could tap on expire tap on five, and now any job that is within five days of the exp expiration date that's in your jobs list, well, it's going to have a, in red, it'll tell you that, uh, you know, the expiration date so that you know, hey, this is coming up. It's just a nice uh, alert. Um, or you can do same day, or you can even turn it off. So then after you set that up, you would just click save. You'll have your account. You'll click on that back button. And still up at the very top, the, the arrows that are pointing in the circles, uh, you can tap on that, and now you're going to start your sync. And it's going to say sync complete, and now you have your list of jobs. Going to the right, still up in the, in the menu, uh, you have a search, a uh, little search magnifying glass. If you tap on that, you can now bring up a search option. You can search for pretty much whatever you want. Uh, if you type directly for numbers, it's going to show you anything that has a number in it based on what checkboxes you have here, DBS code, job number, party be served. So uh, it's not going to show anything with a case uh, with 38 unless you tap on case. Uh, going now, let's say you want to search by a name. So you search Doe. 11 out of 17 jobs here have Doe in them. Now if I uncheck party be served, well, this doesn't show anything because I don't have anything that says Doe in a DBS code or a job number. Uh, so that's just something to pay attention to, but you can search for basically whatever you want. So we're going to cancel that search. Now we're going to go into uh, the box with the check mark just to the right of the magnifying glass at the top. So you tap on that, it brings up the edit multiple jobs feature. You can start tapping on jobs and you'll see that it starts checking these boxes for you uh, so that you can edit multiple jobs at one time. To add comments to more than one job, you add one comment to more than one job, uh, attempts, photos as well. Uh, this is how you would do it. In the bottom, now at the bottom in this menu, to the very left is a check with a circle. That's going to check every single box for every job. The trash can is going to delete the ones that are checked. So if I click the trash can here, I'm going to delete these four jobs. And then the pencil is the one that is actually going to allow you to then go into the job uh, to then edit them. And then, of course, you have the X. If you tap on the X, it brings you right back to that job list. In the very top right corner, uh, you have a barcode looking thing. Uh, that is the barcode action. That will allow you to bring up the camera with a barcode scanner on it. And then you are able to scan your barcodes of the documents that you have. If you have field sheets and you want to get into a job because your list is long or you have multiple companies, that might be a good route to go. And it'll just bring you right up into, uh, into that job. So... Before we get into an actual job, I want to show you in the very bottom, we've got a couple menu options here. So if I tap on job number, all right, this is a sort by option. Uh, you can sort by any of these, whatever is your preference, and you can always change them at any, any time. So let's just sort by case number real quick, and you'll see that now I have things in, a, in case order. Uh, go back to job number. You can do ascending, descending. Uh, if you tap on the ascending, descending, it's just changing that order. And then you have a little filter with all. If you check on that, uh, it allows you to show you what, you know, just different filters for different uh, sets of jobs. So if you want to see only the ones that are shotgun jobs or only the ones that are classic, so on and so forth, you're able to. Uh, so we'll just leave it on all. 
I also want to show you, I have one job in here that is in an orange color. Um, this job is something that there's something on this job that I have not yet fully saved. So that means that I was in the job at some point. You can see I tapped on the job, I got into it, and it says discard changes or save changes. That means that I was in this job, and then without actually saving something, I closed P, uh, PST Mobile. Uh, and that could be, you know, you forced it closed, maybe you didn't save it all the way and you just turned off your phone, uh, or, you know, you closed it and the, the app went away. Um, it, instead of it just removing that information, it saves it in there. But then next time you go in, you're able to save the changes or discard them. So now I've saved them and that job is no longer orange. So now if I sync, it will actually upload that information. So let's scroll down. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get into a job real quick. So I'm going to look at job all the way at the bottom, job number four. So I tap on that. And now I have my job information. Uh, just kind of scrolling down a little bit, you can see this is the job information here. Uh, we've got, you know, Rockley. I've got my two addresses that I was given. If I tap on the name and the address, it brings me to my survey uh, information where I could enter the service details, recipient description information. Now I'm going to go back real quick. There is a view slash add button directly below. If I tap on that, it brings me to the same exact window. So you have your option of either clicking on the name and the address or clicking on view add, and it's going to give you the same stuff. Um, so we'll just look at that real quickly. You've got, you know, uh, your survey information, you've got your service details, you know, your date time. It's got automatic access to whatever the date time is. You can change it. Type of service, sure individual personal age uh you know you want it to be 40 it's automatically going to jump up five from there you've got your gender your race your height same sort of deal you it automatically jumps five from whatever it is that you choose uh you know 185 to 190 on the way and so on and so forth you can just input whatever it is that you want on the recipient description going down just a little bit from there you've got your comments um if you notice in the very, very bottom left, there's an ad comment. In the bottom left, there's ad photo. Also on the job, if you in the details, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see now you have comments and photos as well. Either or is fine. If you want to tap on the little plus for comments, it brings up the comment. You can add a comment. Uh, keep in mind, this is not an attempt. This is a comment. This is just something that you want to inform the office of. Uh, and you can type whatever you want. If you want to add an attempt, you want to go out of the survey detail, and there is an option right here that says attempt. You tap on that, and now you're in an attempt. Attempted the service at this address, and you can say whatever you want. Um, there is this little plus in, the, in a bubble. If you tap on that, that's your append standard comment list. And you can tap on whatever it is that you want in whatever order you want, press OK, and now that's filled in, and you're on your way. The GPS coordinates are automatically going to be captured once you click on the add attempt. So we'll just save that one real quick. And we'll go back down and we're scrolling down. And you'll see that there's the attempted, uh, the attempted service right there. And now let's, let's go ahead and just add a quick photo. So click add photo. Now it's going to ask me to select the survey. That's because I have that one stamped onto the photo. So which one do I want? Let's go with one, two, three, hit and leave. And now I have my options here of what I want to do. Select a photo, take a photo, add a description here <laughs> to test. And let's go ahead and just uh, take a quick photo. So I'm just going to take a photo of my keyboard here. And then press OK. And here we go. So you got the photo in there. In the top left, I've got my date and my time. In the top right, I've got my GPS coordinates. And then at the very bottom, I have the address that I selected. Uh, simple as that. And then you just click Save. And there it is. All right. Now, both of these, you're able to edit. You're able to delete them because we haven't synced the information yet. So they're just sitting there. Uh, if we made a mistake and we need to change it, you're able to do so. Scrolling back up just a little bit, uh, I went right over here, the, uh, the party to be served status. You can choose that military married, yes, if you want, no, doesn't matter, or you leave it on NA if it is not applicable. 
Now, something that is really nice, what we just did here is I, I acted like I served Rock Lee. I had tapped on his name. I had input this information that I had canceled here. That's saying that, okay, I served Rock Lee at 123 Hidden Leaf uh, Village. Now, what if you serve Rock Lee's sister or wife, somebody else? There's an add serve V button directly to the right. And so if you tap on that, that brings up a new survey detail. This is a brand new survey detail for somebody else that you have served. So you didn't serve Rock Lee. Let's say you served uh, Holly Lee. Holly Lee, uh, tongue twister. Uh, so you served Holly Lee, and now relationship is, uh, that's the sister, okay? Same address, so we don't have to change anything there. Now, if you did need to change the address, instead of having to go in and delete it, you can just tap on that X, and boom, now the address is gone. You can type in a new address right then and there. Uh, that's a nice little feature. Uh, so let's go ahead and just save that. All right, so we got the person, we got our address. Now we can go ahead and say that this is who we actually served. We served this person. Uh, we served this, whatever the recipient description information is. We can say that we served, we can take a photo. We can do anything we want in the actual survey detail. And that is now saying that Holly Lee is who we serve. It's important to know that when you are in here, in order to capture the GPS coordinates for the actual service information, you need to click on this little GPS button right there. It's the second one, the one that just added that X to it. All right, and that captures your GPS coordinates for this serve. If you didn't like that, now then you can just clear it by tapping on the same exact icon. Let's do it again real quick. There you go. All right. Um, in the in the to the left of that, there's a little map looking icon. If you tap on that, it's going to bring up your Google Maps, and it's going to uh, it, it's going to allow you to to see exactly where you are. Uh, you can map a route by you know just clicking Get Directions. Uh, it's pretty cool, uh, and that's just an easy way to be able to get there. Uh, and then you would just save, and you're now back at this. You see, I've got now I have a new person, new address. Uh, everything's good there. And then you can save the changes there. And I've got, I'm back to my jobs list. I've got the little red dot next to it. That's telling me that I've made some changes here and I have not synced this information. We see the same thing on that one that we edited earlier, job 68 up here. All right, so now all I have to do is tap on that sync all again. Now it syncs all that information. Those red dots have now turned green. And that means that everything that I needed to sync, I've synced and everything is good to go. And now you're on your way. So if you have any questions, give us a call at 407-679-1539 or email us at support at dbsinfo.com. And I hope that you enjoy PST Mobile. Thank you. Bye-bye.